Here we are. The essential clothing for wet weather, cold weather. Let's get rid of the ninja part above, so you can hear me. <laughs> the Evoc backpack is ready with its rain cover. Prefer a backpack in the winter, to be honest. I'm saying it's zero Celsius on the dash in the van. <laughs> so I don't know how true that is. But it's got a nip in the air. It's a little bit windy at the minute. And it's gonna rain at some point. So we're gonna test out <laughs> we can survive winter riding <laughs> in the in the get up I've got. I'll show you in the picture. But for now, let's go ride and get going. Let's go. Well, it's definitely winter rain now. It's cold, it's raining. Captain's leading the charge into the Lovers. <laughs> this is all fresh cut. <laughs> it's loose. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> right. You can do the old school royal run all the way to the bog and into the river, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am getting absolutely soaked and my protection on my head is not the one. <laughs> but my gloves are keeping my hands dry, which is good. My base layer is keeping me warm. My feet are nice and warm and dry, so the shoes are working out a treat. And yeah, it feels a bit weird riding a backpack. I haven't done it for a while, but it's something you do get used to. But yeah, it is getting biblical now, so I'm gonna do a couple more rides. And then we report in and let you know how it all turns out. Boys are loving life. Right, biblical weather now. <laughs> it's really hammering it down. Oh, I don't know how much the GoPro is picking up for this. I'm going to do a lens wipe. Yep. <laughs> wow. That's coming down big time now. Here we go. Wet where we're riding. <laughs> <laughs> pro, John Pro line. <laughs> oh, he's wild in the way. <laughs> well, there we go. So wet weather riding. I'm gonna go sit by a nice warm fire in the in the public house now. Let's go. Well there we have it, that was the wet weather riding gear put to the test. It ended up being quite biblical, the rain. And um, yeah, I've 
got to point out that the rain jacket I had on is not really a rain jacket. It's more of a windshield jacket. And I have a Endura Stealth jacket, which I should have worn, really. I'm a bit gutted I didn't, to be fair, because I didn't think it was going to rain that much. And in fairness, they don't actually make that jacket anymore. So that's part of the reason why I didn't wear it. However, they make the MT500. So that would be a good shout. And other people have recommended it. It gives good reviews and so on. So... But I'm actually looking into getting a, a more lightweight rain jacket. So keep an eye out for a little mini review coming for that soon. I'm going to do some research and then I'll report back in. But other things that I had uh, on that I was testing out today in the cold and in the rain was basically I had a merino wool uh, base layer long sleeve. My one I was wearing today was the Madison one. I've had it for a couple of years now and it's mint. It's super good. Kept me nice and warm today. The water didn't get through. And basically with Merino War, you can actually wear it a few times in a row and it doesn't actually pong. I have actually gave that bit of a test in the past where I wore it to work for four days in a row. And basically I work in construction, so a bit of heavy lifting, moving around on my feet all day and so on. So yeah, they do hold off the sweat and the smell quite well, actually. I had a pair of uh, Merino War socks on as well. I didn't have any waterproof socks on. Uh, reason being is I was testing out my 510 Impact Pros as well for durability in the in the rain. And I can report that my feet were nice and warm from the Merino Wool socks. Those were from uh, Mons Royale. There's other brands out there, but I quite like the clothing from Mons Royale as well. So I've got a few bits and their, their jerseys are actually Merino Wool as well, which is pretty cool. So I've got a few of those, but yeah. Their socks held out. I was super, super dry and warm from those, which in turn made my 510s quite impeccable in the rain. I was actually really impressed, to be fair, because they do waterproof options, and these are just normal, like, downhill-style ones. So for them to be that waterproof uh, for the rain I went through today was, was pretty good, actually, so pretty stoked with that. And then I was wearing the Skyline uh, pants from Troy Lee Design, now they they do some actual water resistant ones. I think they're called the resists. Uh, you have to check or I'll put a link in or whatever. But yeah, basically these are more like trail trousers that I was wearing. And to, in fairness, the rain did just run off them. So I was pretty stoked with that. But in the winter and also when it's really biblical weather is I do tend to wear a, a buff. Now basically that is the brand. However, the one I had on today was a mint sauce one that come free with MB UK a while ago. And... The good thing with wearing buffs is you can like wrap them all around your face and everything, which is really good. And then also when you get off the bike, if you take your helmet off, you can actually wrap it around like a, in like a ninja style. So it can cover your head and you can raise it up across your ears and over your nose, which is pretty cool actually. So they're on the list of like must haves. I also had some fist handwear gloves on as well. These are their freeze range uh, gloves that they do, which is basically their winter gloves. They're a little bit thicker than the normal ones and they've got like a neoprene finish on the top to keep the rain off. They kept me dry. I was I was warming them. I wasn't hot. They wasn't big and bulky. Some brands in their winter gloves are quite big and thick and I'm not really into that because I, I like to feel my controls. And then to recap, overall, I think you need a, a really good rain jacket. Buff is really important. A merino wool base layer, merino wool socks and the Skyline pants from Troy Lee, the winter gloves. They're a little bit thicker than the normal ones. 510's quite impeccable in the rain. But the most important thing that I find that you, you can't put a price on when it comes to riding in wet weather is going with some friends. Because when you go with your mates, it just makes the whole thing more enjoyable. Even if you are getting all absolutely soaked, you're all having a good time by all slipping and sliding around. And if you all have a good buzz, it's all worth it. So hope that helps out and gets you inspired to go out and ride. And if you have any questions or comments, please do hit me up. Not a problem at all. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, then please jump on board. But until next time, stay awesome. See you on the hill. Peace.